My name is Jeffrey James. I live in Toronto and I'm a photographer. I've been reborn as a digital photographer uh, about 18 months ago and um, um, I've been photographing in the street which I didn't haven't done since I really began in the street and I was far too shy in those days. I, I was too shy to get close to anybody and now I've got the the sort of um, invisible cloak of being older. No one takes you, you're not a threat anymore so I can photograph anyone any time and I, I'm fearless so I've been working a lot in public spaces in Toronto especially Dundas Square which is this strange um, space in the middle of the city that people feel quite conflicted about but it's the only almost the only place in the city where everybody crosses in a funny way there's a huge flow there's the university there the Eaton Centre the the subway and and spend a few hours there you just see all this talk about multiculturalism suddenly becomes real and um, and it's very complex and it's it's a wonderful subject and I've made thousands of pictures there and I, I want to do something with it. I spent you know several years flying to work in Europe photographing these gardens much of which were many of which were, were difficult of access even it was a sort of insane process um, and totally unfashionable in art world terms. You know after you know eight, nine, ten years photographing these places, um, I had a sense that I had to move on and um, I, I got a wonderful commission um, which I proposed to Phyllis Lambert at the Canadian Centre for Architecture and photographed for about, I don't know, six, seven years all the works, uh, all the work of Frederick Law Olmsted, who the man who did Central Park and you know a hundred other places in America. And I think when I started to do that I was photographing landscape but I was also photographing American public space which was in no noticeable decline. So it became more social and political. I could see these you know, neglected places and what they said about notions of public space. And then after that it was downhill. It was asbestos mining and the Mexican border and now Cuba. So I'm, I'm dealing with things that I think are probably more overtly social or, I, I don't use the word political, but um, social I think, yeah.